Hello, my name is LazyJet. Welcome back to Train Simulator Classic and welcome to a World Cup Strength Race Challenge. Now, in today's video, we have got three different locos from three different countries. And basically, they're going to be pulling a long line of freight, and we're going to see which one is not only the fastest, but the strongest. Hmm. So, representing the United States of America, we have, once again, this. Now, I've got to read it off the screen, because I actually don't know what this is, but it's a ES44AC in a BNSF livery. That. Or to put it in another way, this is basically the king of the, the high and mighty uh, strength locomotives. Mm. And representing Germany, we have this, which I believe is a DB class V200. Again, I don't know anything about trains from abroad. I only know roughly of English trains. Some of them anyway. <laughs> And speaking of English trains, we have this classic class 37. You can't go wrong with a class 37. You, you just can't. And I've also brought back another diesel locomotive, which a lot of you guys have been missing. I have brought back the super class 47. Hey, because a lot of you guys have been uh, missing me driving the, the super class 47. A lot of people said in the comments, bring it back. We miss it. So I have. And here, here she is. And I've got to be honest, uh, I'm actually recording this video just before 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't, the, don't know if the camera will pick that up. I don't think that... Oh, no, there we go. Uh, I'm recording this video just before 6 a.m. So it is pretty early for me. So because it's quite early, I can't actually be this loud. So uh, I have to say this quite quietly. <gasps> Let's play Train Sim! Yay! <laughs> Right, so as always, uh, we're going to the world editor, but this time I'm not going to program them to be about, you know, 100 or something-ish power. I think we should program these high and mighty strength trains to be at, hmm, I was thinking 200% power. Oh yeah. So, I think we should start with um, the class 37, and... You're on platform two, I believe. Oh, no, you're not on platform two. Uh, what platform are you going to be on? Um, oh, no, that's engine number one, sorry. Uh, I've programmed the wrong engine. So, engine two on platform uh, two. Well, let's have a look. There we go. It's, it's, it's worked. I will have you at 200% power. <laughs> and engine number three, which I believe is the uh, German loco, and I think that's on platform five. Uh, no, not on platform five. Is it on platform four? There we go. That's better. I will have you at 200% power as well. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. And for the American locomotive is engine number four, and you're on platform six, I think. Let's try that out. Yes, and have you on 200% power as well. <laughs> now, I don't know actually know uh, what the result is going to be. Because this is a strength challenge, uh, I don't actually know uh, what the results are going to be. But uh, never mind. Uh, let's uh, get the Superclass 47 into place because that's the local I'm going to be driving today. Looks very nice, beautiful. And let's click play. Are you sure you want to save this? Yes, I would love to save this. <laughs> Um, and away there you go. I mean, obviously, this is the slowest start off in racing history because, like, you know, this is a strength challenge and it does make a massive difference. I mean, look at all this humongous freight. Now, some of you might disagree that and say that this race is particularly unfair, but actually, no, I have lined it all up perfectly. So all the freights are exactly the same length ish. Um, and we're just going to see which one is the strongest and the fastest. So at the moment, uh, without a doubt, the American uh, diesel locomotive is um, is in the lead. So yeah, so this is a test of who is the strongest diesel from around the world. This is a diesel uh, challenge, diesel strength challenge. That's well, that that should have that's, that's going to be the title of the video, I think, the diesel strength challenge. Now, realistically, I think the American diesel should win this because. They are designed for heavy, long, strength stuff. But um, but I still think the 37 might have a chance because I think the 37 might be slightly faster, but it's not a very slow start. 
no, sorry, hold on, wait, no, it is a slow starter because it's pulling all this heavy freight, but once it gets up to speed, I think it might have a chance. But at the moment, I'm looking at the German diesel, and, um, I mean, it looks like it's wheel slipping, or no, I think it's fine. Um, it might go up to speed, but then again, it might not, but this is a long, long line of freight. So I'm gonna go up ahead, oh god, I forgot how mental the, uh, oh, I've just... My head just went through the windscreen. I forgot how uh, how berserk and, uh, and insane the, uh, the Superclass 47 is. So how fast is the American diesel going? Bear in mind, I have set these up to 200% power. So it should be quite... They should be going quite fast. Hopefully quite soon. But again, like, you know, it's... Um they're quite slow stars because like this is a, this is a this is a strength challenge. It's not all about speed. It's all about strength. Let's see which one's the fastest while pulling a long line of heavy freight. So the American diesel is doing quite well. It's doing like you know roughly about forty-ish miles per hour, which is which is quite fast for a uh, for a big long freight train. <laughs> Here the level crossing. How's the uh, the thirty-seven doing? Um, again, still slow at starting off, but uh, it might pick up some speed. We don't know. Uh, but let's have a look and see how the Germans are doing. Now, um, I, I do have to be honest. I was a bit um, short choosing for German locos because in Europe, most freight trains, if you live in Europe, you will be aware that uh, most freight trains are actually electric uh, locomotives. So it is hard to choose the right diesel representing Germany because, uh, you know, most... De most, sorry, most uh, freight trains in America, uh, not America, what am I saying? Europe, I forgot what I was going to say now. Most, um, because it's so early, I can't, I can't, I can't think straight. Um, no, most um, trains in Europe, the, mo the most freight trains in Europe are electric powered. That's, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Got there in the end. So here we are on the big loop now. Uh, it's taken me about 13 and a half minutes to get here. Um, so I just know that this is going to be a very long race. But, you know, you guys don't have to watch this. You can just skip through the end and see who wins because this will be boring. <laughs> so how fast is the American Diesel going? Um, it's doing about... Oh, my God. Don't tell me it's doing 100. Can you imagine? If it's doing 100, I'll be surprised. Oh, my God. It is doing about 100. <laughs> no way. I mean, I am doing about 102. So if I slow down just a little bit... Um, see if I link it up. I'm doing about, ooh, let's see. There was a little bit of lag. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm doing 99. No, that's 100. And it's going a little bit faster than me. It's a little bit laggy. No, but this thing, the American Diesel is going um, way over 100. And we've got a lot of lag at the moment. I do apologize for the lag. So let's have a quick look on the map. So we are here. And where are the others? Uh, oh, my God. Look how slow the German train is going. Oh, that is so slow. Oh, that, that, that is ridiculous. And we're doing, well, the American freight diesel is doing about 100 and something-ish miles per hour. That is quick. I mean, let's have a look at the downward spiral. Look how fast this thing is going of all these wagons. I mean, that is insane. <laughs> that is that is quite quick. Uh, now, I've got to be careful because uh, every time I go on the uh, downward spiral on the Superclass 47... Uh, it always do rails, so I've just got to be very careful while going around these corners. I'm going to go a little bit faster. And I think, yeah, I think we're safe. Uh, wait for it. Yep, yeah, we made it. That's cool, good. Because uh, last time I tried to record a race with the Supercast 47, uh, it came right off the track. So uh, I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, or maybe I didn't just, or maybe I forgot to put it in the video. <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, I'll just edit it out. But no, right, let's catch up to the uh, to the American uh, freight diesel. And I think uh, just up on the top of the hill is the uh, class 37. Yeah, it is the class 37. Thing's quite falling behind quite a bit, but it's pulling quite a long line of uh, of wagons. But I don't know where the uh, German diesel is. Where where where's that? Um, it's it's still on the first big loop. That is quite slow. I mean, I just can't believe how fast that American uh, freight diesel is doing. I mean, I'm doing about 148, 149, 100, I'm doing 150 miles per hour. And I'm just about linking speeds. 154, that is ridiculous. I mean, look how fast, look how fast that is. That is, no, that is, that is just nuts. That is, that is insane. I mean, I do need to get in front of it, to be honest, because uh, I do need to link my speed, because at the moment we're in the, uh, the Snaky Valley area. So once it all gets straightened out, um, which is just about to do now, 
Uh, I think we can actually catch up and try and link speed. I'm doing over 210 miles per hour. I'm doing uh, 212, actually. Uh, in order to catch up to, uh, to a diesel. Here we go. So I'll apply my brakes just a smidge. And let's have a look. I'm doing 129 miles per hour. And I think we've linked our speed. That is... That is, that is remarkable of how fast this thing can go while pulling all of these freight. I mean, I, mean, I did program them to do 200% power. If I have to be honest, I think this American Diesel is pulling all this freight like it's not there. It's like, nah, I'm just pulling this. This is just easy for me. Like, you know, it, this is nothing. I've pulled heavier than this. And it's still doing about 100 miles per hour. Let's have a look on the map to see where the others are. Uh, so we're here. And they are, oh my god, they are far, 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 far behind. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you can actually see that the uh, German uh, diesel um, is going quite slow. But the uh, class 37 is still going quite slow. So I, I don't think these two will finish anytime soon. I mean, the fact that we're near the finish line, we're about there. And the German train is is there that might make it to the finish line tomorrow okay so we're getting close to the finish line and how's the american diesel doing do you know what it does look amazing though see, see seeing an american train with that amount of freight going at this speed does look pretty awesome i have to say um especially especially in the bnsf livery i mean i don't i mean i don't know much about american trains but I do like the BNSF livery. Now, I don't know if that is a good company or a rubbish one. I mean, I know there's Union Pacific and um, that other one, the Southern something, Southern something Pacific, I think. And was it, is it CEX? I don't mean CEX, do I? That's the name of a shop. Um, it's CSX. That's the company I meant. Yeah, so there's Union Pacific CSX and BNSF. Now, out of all of them, I do prefer BNSF the most. I mean, that. I mean, you guys are the experts. Is BNSF a good, a good train company, or is it just Oliver? You're talking nonsense. It's a rubbish company. Don't like them. I don't know. I'm not American. So what I've done is I've left the Superclass 47 there, and the American Freight Diesel uh, is the winner. I have to conclude the winner is the American Freight Diesel. I mean, it does have a name, but I forgot because I'm an idiot. Uh, but no, just park it there, my friend. You, you are, you are the winner. Congratulations, congratulations. Very nice. Uh, so we'll, uh, park it there, and the Americans have won the strength challenge. I mean, I kind of knew the freight, the the American freight trains were gonna win this one, but then, nevertheless, uh, that's another victory for the Americans. Oh, and look who we got in the distance. We have got a class thirty-seven. How did that thing? catch up so quickly where, where is um how did it i swear it was like there about a few minutes ago and it's gone all the way up there and to there in like no time at all how the heck has it done that i think if we had a longer racetrack maybe this could actually have catched up and maybe have beaten the american diesel nah i think the racetrack is long enough we don't need to make it longer do we or do we? But uh, let's park the uh, the British Class 37 right... Uh, well, not right next to the, uh, the American Diesel, I did, which I do know... Well, I did know the name, but then I forgot. But still, I am very suspicious of how this thing caught up so quickly in the end. And also, it's got a nameplate. Um, in the... Ness. In the... In the Ness! In the Ness. That's, uh, that's in Scotland, isn't it? It's in Scotland. I, in Vaness is in Scotland. I can't, I can't do a good Scottish accent, but that's that's the best I've got. Now I'm looking in the distance and I cannot see the uh, German diesel anywhere. Let's have a look on the map. Uh, uh, oh, oh dear, it's it, it's all the way over there. Um, can I see if I try and cat, like see it maybe? Um, yeah, there it is. Um, oh dear. I mean, it has, it finally has picked up some speed, but um. Obviously, it's it, it just wasn't enough in the end. But no, seriously, that, thing has, that, has, that thing's picked up some speed. 
But unfortunately, this is the end of the video. Uh, even though that the Germans aren't present at the moment, uh, we still have to end the video. But the American diesel was faster than the British and the, and the Germans. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well, so stay notified to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, twit, 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 Twitter. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All things are in the description. And if you want to buy some LazyJet merch, I'll leave a link to my website in the description below, so you guys can buy some LazyJet hats, t-shirts, hoodies, you name it, I've got it. But thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now, guys. Bye. stuff um oh oh there we go <laughs> maybe